What is going on everybody, this is Scary Fania bringing you guys today a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies video and we are going to be looking at and detailing the giant trailer that just got released yesterday. So we do see that there is an ARC 47 on the wall right there. Then we get to see the zombies chasing after the characters and there looks like they haven't did anything big to the map except maybe it looks darker and everything and then we get to see the gobble gum machine back in action for the giant instead of it being in shadows of evil then we get to see the electricity traps being activated we're going to skip forward just a little bit just so that we can see everything has um happened from the past um giant trailer then we get to see more electricity traps we get to see the home um starting field for um, Black Ops 3 is the giant. We get to see that there is um, a change difference with the teleporter links. So it, instead of it just being blue electricity and blue every um, blue smoke or whatever it was, there actually is some red and orange in there and the blue electricity bolts. And then behind them is the t um, is the link mainframe for the you to get the pack a punch machine. And then there is another thing coming up, and that is Speed Cola 2.0 maybe. But I don't know, but we are getting perks in the giant. Um, they should be in the same spot, which is good if they are. So that's everyone can remember where it was. And then we get to see the home plate again. There is a pack a punch open right there, or it's about to be opened. And then we get to see this character using the man of war. And it looks like he's going slow motion. I think that's one of the effects for the gobble gum. Makes the zombies go in slow motion, but it makes him fa run faster so he's able to train better. Then we get to see a Shiva on the wall, maybe where the Type 100 used to be. We're going to skip forward just a little bit until we get to see the these weird green lights in the background where um, Nikolai was. Watch me zoom in. There is a green light back there. We do not know what that is um until after then we get to see that there is some sliding abilities that are going to be in zombies um if you do count advanced warfare as a, um exo zombies as a as one of the first sliding um effects then that this is actually our second one that we are going to be seeing in the second in this call of duty then we get to see a little bit more in depth with it we get to see the bowie knife 2.0 better and bigger than before i mean i don't think it's i think it's gotten bigger because as you guys can see that there is like a with a difference than how it used to be in um the old call of duties for black ops 1 and black ops 2 and then um let's move forward we get to see rick toffin using the dingo so i think all there is is just gonna be futuristic weapons instead of past weapons or is there and I'm talking, is there in about a few seconds? We get another clip. We get to see some more jumping abilities. Um, I don't think we will be getting like the full thrust jump like in multiplayer, but we will be getting some type of jump or um, like more like a better slide or a better jump than um, past Call of Duty Zombies has. And then we get to see some green in there, but we will be talking about that green in a few seconds once we get to see another glimpse at it. Again, we get to see monkey bombs are returning in Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. And then we get to see that there are going to be hellhounds and they do look awesome. I cannot uh, I cannot imagine what next gen has for these zombies and their effects and everything. We get to see the Pack-A-Punch 2.0. As you guys can see, it does look kind of like beat down, rusted and everything. As you guys can see right there, it does look kind of depressing, but it it's true it got probably been um a while since we've used it but oh well then we get to see the dingo upgraded we get to see the man of war we get to see the shiva in action we get to see more electricity traps the vmp and then we just get to see them looks like they're about to get down on their death and everything die right there in that teleporter and then there's nothing after that until boom we get to see the wonder waffle is back in action that's right a wonder waffle is back thank god that they added the wonder waffle then we get to see a glimpse of what is that what is going on what is nikolai holding in his hand do i see a ray gun i think it is a ray gun as you guys can tell this is the ray gun i was just messing around um you can tell it's a ray gun because the ray gun had 
three parts. It had the green, yellow, and red on both sides of the ray gun when you held it, and then the blue or white tube um, in front of the ray gun. This isn't the ray gun 2.0 or the ray gun 3.0. This is the base weapon for the ray gun. This is the regular ray. Gu um, this is the regular ray gun. Nothing has changed to it except maybe. Um, Maybe a little change of the design, maybe. But look, we do get to see it is actually the ray gun. I'm going to try to get a better glimpse. There it is right there. That is the ray gun that Nikolai is holding in his hand. So happy we're getting Wonder Waffles. We're getting ray guns again. We are getting some other cool things in here. We are getting an Easter egg for this map. It has been confirmed by Jason Blundell yesterday's episode of the live stream for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. Um, he did mention that there is going to be some parts of the Easter egg that are going to change up the storyline a little bit. But it's still going to equal to the next DLC map. We do not know what maps we are getting for the DLC. But we do know that there is going to be multiple Easter eggs in the Giant. And that we are getting some more Wonder Weapons coming soon in the near future for the history for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies. I'm so hyped for this game. As soon as we, as soon as the game drops, we are gonna be playing zombies more. We're gonna be playing Shadows of Evil first, and then the Giant. But just by looking at this trailer and everything, I think I want to play the Giant first before Shadows of Evil. I don't know. Please leave a like and comment down below what you guys want me to see first, or what you guys want to see first. Um, wanting me to play. Do you guys want me to play Shadows of Evil, or do you guys want me to play the Giant? I don't know. I can't make up my mind. Leave it down below in the comments. Shadows of Evil or the Giant for first gameplay for Black Ops 3 Zombies. Please leave a like and subscribe. We've reached our goal. 41 subscribers. So happy. If we can get to 50 before um, the New Year's, that would be amazing. That's nine more subscribes. Tell your buddies about these fun videos and future videos to come and more details for black ops 3 and other games out there too i'll see you guys in the next video peace out everybody